Moving on now, and Australians might soon be able to predict whether they will get Alzheimer's disease and at what age. A new online tool developed by Australian researchers claims that it's possible to pinpoint when memory decline would start within a few years. Dementia affects around 472,000 Australians with Alzheimer's, the most common form, leading to progressive memory loss. For more, let's bring in Sunrise GP, Dr Ginny Mansberg. Ginny, good morning to you. Okay. Uh, predicting Alzheimer's, I would imagine that's something that is important but also a bit scary as well. Yeah, you can imagine because, you know, what are we going to do about it? Yeah. yeah, totally. How does it, how does this one work, the test? I mean, what do we know and, and if what, what do you do then once you do find out? So the test is taking things that you might know, so whether you have diabetes, whether you have high blood pressure or other conditions that up your risk, some of the lifestyle things. Do you have hobbies, for example? So it's tick box exercises. On top of that, there are a couple of other things that might not be as easy to put in. So the status of that Chris Hemsworth gene, you know, the mm. APOE4 gene, so you need to know that. Not covered by Medicare, costs 150 bucks to get that done. When you put all of those in, what these researchers have done have taken those stats, put them backwards into some existing trials that they have, so some existing data that they have. What we don't have is what happens as you go forward and put it through the general population. So we need those bigger trials to see whether it's as accurate in those groups. Look, I know someone who, who says that they wish that they, they didn't know that their, their husband had a diagnosis of this because there wasn't a lot that they could do about it. What would you suggest if you find out, is there anything? I think what's happened until now is that we've been stuck in this vortex where we don't have an early test. So we've got these drugs being developed. We give them to people. They don't work because we're giving them to people with established dementia, by which time their brains are really damaged. We should be giving it to them early, but we don't have the test. We don't have the test, so we don't develop the drugs. What we're starting to see in 2025 is good tests coming online that will allow us to use these drugs in an earlier group of people and hopefully prevent dementia. I'd say particularly for people in our 50s, I think that it's really hopeful. Meanwhile, a lot of dementia can still be prevented. Things like get a hearing aid. If you cannot hear, just get a hearing aid. It's been shown in multiple trials to reduce your risk of getting yeah. dementia. Midlife, people in our age group, depression, high blood mm. pressure, not sleeping well, now is the time to act to save your brain. So don't wait too late. This test was only done in people over the age of 60. We need to be taking steps now in midlife to actually be doing all the things that we know can stop dementia in its tracks. Yeah, excellent. All right, Dr Ginny Mansberg, thank you. Thanks. Appreciate that.